This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Um, yesterday when I was in my kitchen yesterday, early in the morning, I was in the kitchen and it was just in my spirit. This is, this is the season of the wolves and sheep clothing. And then later on, probably not too long after I logged into Facebook and if not the first thing I saw, literally one of the first things I saw probably was the first thing, but I just want to give just in case it wasn't the first, maybe it was the second, but this lady had posted about wolves and sheep clothing. And, um, also I had, I had began to see like stuff from my past start to pop up. And today there's a ministry that I follow and, um, the, the notification for their Bible study popped up and I was listening and he was talking about waiting and asking God for confirmation before making big decisions and he was talking about how Noah, once he had been in the ark and the earth had flooded and the water was going down, he said it looked like nothing was wet, but he waited another seven days. And so he was he was using that as a encouragement that if something seems okay, then still pray on it and ask God for confirmation. And then I was thinking about some other stuff and some lady who I do not follow on YouTube popped up. I think literally she had just posted this video because it said one view and it was talking about waiting. And she was talking about um, some guy named Casanova from 1725 or something. And he was a womanizer and she was using that as an example, I, 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 she was talking about how he came off as like this very, um, charming and charismatic person, but he was full of deceit and lust. And she was using that as encouragement that, um, whatever it is you're waiting on God for, make sure you're waiting and you're moving only at his, at his calling and, and don't fall for basically anything counterfeit. Don't fall for nothing counterfeit. She didn't say that, but I'm saying it. Don't fall for nothing counterfeit. And um, as I was praying and I was meditating, um, the Holy Spirit was just reminding me that when we pray on things and we ask for confirmation, God gives the confirmation. He gives the signs. We might not like the signs, but he gives the signs and we have to listen and pay attention. And, and the Holy Spirit was reminding me that every good and perfect thing comes from the Lord and nothing good will, will God withhold from us. So if God is withholding something from us, if it seems as though we're missing out on something, it's, it's not good because nothing good will the Lord withhold from us. So if, if it's being withheld, then it's just not good. Whether, whether it's out of season, it's not good. Or whether it's just completely not it, it's not good. So um, just encouragement to um, let God lead you. To let God lead you. And uh, don't be anxious for nothing. But in, in all things, with prayer and supplication, to make that request be made known unto the Lord with thanksgiving okay and uh god is good don't be like eve he's not he's not withholding something good from you if he's withholding it, it's not good all right be blessed in jesus name